Welcome back Smashers, it's Jansen here and I am in a very good mood today for a good reason. I have managed to get my product into a magazine, into a blog post and I've managed to get uh, an Instagram influencer to promote my product. Now guess how much all of those like marketing tools cost me? Zero. Zilch. Didn't have to pay anything. So in this video, I'm going to be revealing the emails that I sent, kind of the strategy that I used to find the blog posts and the magazine and all things like that. I'm going to be revealing all of that. So you don't want to miss this one. If you do enjoy this video or anything else on the channel, please do remember to subscribe and give a like in the like box below. So without further ado, what I'm going to do now is quickly show you the initial email that I sent to a blog that was running like a top 10 product within my niche. Um, I'm going to show you the email that I sent and then the response and then I'm going to show you exactly how you can do that in order to drive even more sales either from your Amazon listing, your Shopify store, your e-commerce store, whatever. If you're selling something online, you need to do this trick. So if we just go into the computer, this is the email that I sent. So it says, Hi, hope you're well. I wanted to get in touch with you because I came across an article or blog post that you had written on X and then I would just put in your niche. So let's just say, for example, you're selling yoga mats. So uh, an article that you'd written on yoga mats named Best Yoga Mats 2020, which was of interest to me as I own a company that manufactures and supplies yoga mats to the UK market under the brand I don't know, yoga god, whatever. Uh, that sounds quite good actually, doesn't it? Um, its features include, and then what I would then do, or what I did was walk through the key features of your product and especially make sure that you can outline anything that makes your product unique. The thing that I kind of realized when I was looking through some of these top 10 lists is that a lot of the products on the, uh, on the list weren't comparable to mine. Mine was far better. Mine had features that the products in the list didn't currently have. So in this email, I was like, my product can do this. My product's got that, all things like that. So make sure you nail that here. And also um, for facts about your company, I would like play on the heartstrings a bit and be like, I have a small independent. It's just me featuring in your list would be incredible, blah, blah, blah. Use your intuition there, but basically just try and come across as someone that's genuinely trying to, um, you know, get their product seen and somebody that wants to basically grow and do better. Now, the second part of the email, what I would then go on to say is we would love the opportunity to feature in your article or elsewhere on the site. So maybe even getting your own like separate blog post, not part of this especially given that we believe our product is uniquely positioned. So there, we're trying to again highlight that our product is unique and it would be beneficial for us to be included in that list because it'll offer readers something else that they can't currently get. Um, then I've said here, you can also link to Amazon for affiliate commission or via our website. So that again is a bit of an incentive to these people that write these blog posts or have these websites. If they get a bit of cash back for referring somebody to Amazon or to your website, they're gonna be more interested in doing that. And you will be so surprised that people, some people don't realize you can do that. So make sure you educate them if you see um, from their blog post that they don't actually know how to do that. Then I would say, if this is something that you would be interested in, we would be more than happy to send you a yoga mat to test for free. You can also visit our website here for more information and then put your website or your Amazon listing, your Shopify store, whatever it is that you've got that you um, that features your product. Looking forward to hearing your thoughts, regards, Janssen, and then you can put owner, managing director, whatever you want. So that is what I said, okay, when I uh, was trying to get my product into some of these blog posts and into a magazine. And the response from one of the guys was this, sure, send one through please. The only way we hear about products is when we're contacted by those who make and sell them. This guy had never even heard of my product. And when I sent it to him, I sent an email a couple of days later and he was literally like, this product's amazing. Definitely, I will more than happy to feature it. And do you know how much that cost me to get that? 
zero. Big fat zero. Nothing. It literally cost me the price of one unit. And I know for a fact, this happened a couple of months uh, ago now, this top 10 one. Um, and I know for a fact that I've received sales from this as a result because I've had customers email me like, hi, I saw your product in the top 10 and I've got this question, blah, blah, blah. Before I purchase, can you answer this? So it definitely does work, guys. And I'm going to show you how easy it is to do now. So all I would do is if you go onto Google, let's just say that we are selling yoga mats. What I've done here is just typed in top 10 yoga mats. Like you'll be surprised how many people when they're searching for something do actually do things like this. They type in Google, best yoga mat, top 10 yoga mat, best yoga mat in the UK. These are all keywords that you should be searching for. Um, and as soon as you find websites like this, the best yoga mats for your favorite trends, you click on it, let it load. And then I would just have a quick scan down to make sure that this is definitely within your niche and it's definitely something that you can um, add value to. So let's just say, for example, our yoga mat was like a super soft one with, I don't know, free yoga bands or something. And we had a look through here and we were like, okay, yeah, none of these actually offer that. We think ours is brilliant. So what I would do is scroll up and where you can see the author's name, I would just click into that, see if there's any like contact details. So we've got follow this author something like that, I would have a scroll through the website. I'm not gonna do it now, but if you can't find the details on the website for the author, I would literally just go onto Google and just type in the person's name and then put in like contact or something. And then you've got, see, you've got loads here that you can like look through to find her email or better still go on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, this person is gonna be on social media somewhere. So one, once you've done that, just once you've found the contact details, just send them that email and you'll be surprised that people love free stuff. And if they feel that you're offering something different and they can see a valid reason to include you in the website or their blog post or their magazine, whatever it is, they'll do it for you. And that's exactly what happened to me. I've done this now for three blog posts. I've done it for like a couple of different um, top 10 countdown things. And I've done it for a magazine as well. And I didn't have to pay a penny. So that is the first um, kind of way to increase your sales without incurring any costs um, other than just sending a sample. Now, the next thing that you should definitely consider doing is using Instagram influencers. And that is something that I've done this week. Now, what I would do is go onto Instagram and search for hashtags to do with your product. So again, you could do hashtag yoga mat, hashtag gym life, just anything you can think of. And I would start like writing down or following these influencers or these people that have got a decent amount of followers, but not too high. Because if you start getting too high, that's when these people are like used to, you know, being contacted by people and they're going to start to expect to be paid. Now, the tutorial that I'm doing now is how to basically get like advertising for free. So we don't want to pay. So what I did for my niche, let's just again, pretend it's yoga mat. I searched for that. I found about 10 different uh, big Instagrammers that had like between 15,000 and 40,000 followers. I knew that they were in the UK, which was perfect. So make sure that you look up the demographic or wherever they're from first before contacting, because if you end up contacting an influencer that's based in the USA and you don't sell in the USA, then it's gonna be a bit pointless. So what I did is I found about 10 different uh, Instagrammers and then I messaged saying this, Dear so-and-so, I came across you on Instagram and wanted to reach out to see if you'd be interested in having one of my yoga mats. And then again, I put in the key differentiator and why I thought they would love it. So if it's a yoga mat, don't just say, I think you'll like it because it's comfy. You can say, I think you'll love it because it comes with this and it folds up into a tiny, tiny little bundle so you can fit it anywhere in your house. You know, just think of something. Um, and again, I would talk about how you're small independent and you'd really like appreciate kind of like any marketing that they can do or any posts or anything. Um, then I said, we are looking to expand through our website and looking for avid, I don't know, gym going fans or something to sample and provide honest reviews to help us grow. Having looked at your fantastic Instagram posts, we think our product would fit in perfectly and your followers would love to learn more about our product. Now, the reason I put that there is because sometimes people might be like, well, 
the product doesn't actually fit with my niche at all. I don't think it will go well with my posts. I, I could possibly lose followers, things like that. So you want to kind of put this Instagrammer's like minds at ease. Obviously, if you're selling yoga mats and you're messaging, I don't know, a technology Instagram, uh, Instagrammer, then don't say things like that. But if you genuinely believe that your product is going to fit in well um, with the Instagrammer's posts and their followers will appreciate it, then say it. Um, okay, so then I said, let us know if this sounds of interest and we can discuss more. Our website is here and then put um, a link to the website and then here, I put Janssen, social media manager. Again, it's up to you. I just put social media manager here just to make me sound a bit more important than I actually am. Um, but you can say something like uh, owner, director, again, whatever you want. That is all I sent, right? I didn't ask her to do anything. I just kind of was sending an initial like outreach mail to see if they would be interested in, interested in um, promoting the product. And look at this, I was like, amazed and so happy that they responded. I'm happy to create stories introducing your product and using it, putting a direct link to your website. I will add the link to my highlights to leave it available to my community and I will mention the product three times in the month. Again, that is incredible exposure. She had like 20,000 followers and do you know how much it cost me? Zero. Just again, one sample of my product. So guys, this is essential. This tool of reaching out to Instagrammers that don't have like hundreds of thousands of followers, just find Instagrammers that have got like 50,000 or less followers and you'll be surprised at what they'll do because, you know, possibly they've never even had too many emails from people um, that are offering products that they actually want to sell, uh, that they actually want to use. So that is a massive tip from Jansen here. Um, it's something that I've used this week. I She's done the first post already and I was really happy with it. She basically got the product in her hand, was using it and was saying how it's her favorite thing that she's had for ages. So I was like really, really pleased with that. And of course I got links to my website and sales. So hopefully guys, you have enjoyed this video and you've picked up some top tips, whether you're an Amazon seller, Shopify seller, whatever, if you're selling something online, then these are tricks that you absolutely must implement in order to get more sales and to make more profit and to absolutely smash it. So if you've enjoyed this video guys, please remember to like and subscribe and I will see you next time.